Praise the Lord. That says the Lord. You shall have a new address. The Lord says that he knows that you believed in him for a good life, for eternal life on earth as it is in heaven, for deliverance, healing, salvation. You also have in your heart to serve the Lord and bear fruit for the kingdom of God. You are serving the Lord, but the Lord God says that it's time for the reward. And the reward is in such a way that you shall have a new address. The new address is also spiritual and in the materialistic realms. Now, the first thing you need is to have a new address, a new identity in Christ. When you are connected to your own spiritual father or spiritual mother, you must know whose you are. You must know whose spiritual child you are. Who is your spiritual father or your spiritual mother? The one who is your spiritual father or your spiritual mother. The altar is the address. So your altar is of mine. Your spiritual address is of mine. Prophetess Grace Nishida, the altar where I am serving the Lord. You're connected to my heart. So your address is being renewed the reason is you people are still disconnected and far away from my genealogy in christ your bloodline is not yet the same of the blood of the lamb you are not yet connected to my genealogy you are being born again to have a new address so tonight i bless you so that you shall have the renewal the renewal is fragrant, the Lord God says, that it is full of fragrance. It is gentle and the word of God says that take my yoke, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You shall learn from the anointing. When you are connected to your new address, when spiritually you are moving to the new address, many things shall manifest spiritually. Locally, you will have a new address. Spiritually, when you have the guardian angels to guard you, physically in the materialistic realms, you will have many people to guard you, to keep you safe, to look after you and to make sure that everything is going perfectly fine with you and your family. The Lord God says that if you are too much bothered about your child's future you must know that first you need the renewal of your address the spiritual one this is the reason why i say that you have been sent here by the lord to be my sons and daughters when i am your spiritual mother your spiritual address is prophetess grace nishida the altar of god the mercy seat of god Earlier, you had been moving from one church to another, one pastor to another, one gospel to another, one place to another, one method to another, one Bible story to another. But now, it shall all end up in the revelation. This is the good news for you, that it shall all end up in the revelation. Now, no more thirsting. For the same unrighteous things, for self-seeking glory, you think that you will become pastor so that you will have some name, you will have some money. The pastorship is not a career. The prophetic gift is not for you to have a career. It is as a service to the Lord. And the wages are given to the servant of God by God in himself. So nothing you do in the kingdom of God is a career. It is a service. It is acceptable service. So the Lord God says that now is the time to have this new address where you shall have the truth and the good news. Up till now you are so tired because of the things happening. You are not happy because you knew that you need the rescue. And you needed this new address. You needed the new spiritual address. The address which is the house of God for you, where you are the member in the spirit. 
physically you are at your home but now you're connected to the new address the spiritual address where prophetess grace is your spiritual mother and you are anointed for a cause the lord is rubbing the oil on your body and in your life for protection so that this new house shall be the house of the lord's glory for you and for protection as i am speaking your guardian angels are released for protection for guiding you for helping you for receiving the renewal and the breakthroughs the breakthrough for finances your jobs your businesses you shall explore more you shall have the wisdom you will have the new ideas and methods of serving the lord you will glorify the lord thy god with the joy and the newness because you didn't have the correct address now you are connected here to the correct address for your calling for a purpose because kingdom of god is a kingdom of purpose where everything manifests for the lord's glory nothing happens in the kingdom of god without a reason so now you are here for a reason the reason is that you are receiving the new address the permanent address where connection is perfected now no more of the same things in your life the sexism the attractions the men the women the carnal attitude too much bothering yourself with the materialistic things thirsting for the homes for cars for marriages for babies and not thirsting for salvation if you are not thirsting for salvation you are still demonic if you are thirsting for salvation automatically you will be blessed with so many blessings you shall be related to everything that is connected to the spirituality for gospel of truth not for spiritual wardom you are not meant for the spiritual wardom so tonight i bless you so that you shall be disconnected from all the evil altars where you were giving your life for spiritual wardom which is not the spirituality in christ it is the demonic spirituality you were exposed to the same i disconnect you from all the evil altars i disconnect you so that there shall be the renewal of the address and you are meant to be the child of this home now you shall breathe the breath you will say yes indeed i am breathing for the first time and that's the spirit of the living god hallelujah you are not breathing for sexism it is not the breathe for anything else it is not the breathe for doing any exercises it is the true breathe hallelujah the same breath which jesus had breathed on his apostles now because of the anointing because you are connected to the right address you are receiving the breath and because of this you shall glorify our beloved jesus you shall have testimonies and you are going to testify about the lord's glory hallelujah praise the lord the lord shall bless you with abundant joy nothing makes me more happier than giving 100% of my tithes and offering consistently each and every month to Mother Grace Ministries in the name of Jesus. Yes, church, give your tithes and offering generously, faithfully, each and every month. And yes, watch the Lord bless you overwhelmingly. 